Unless you've been living under a rock or perhaps an acorn, uh, you're probably doubtless aware of the events that happened in uh, Florida with a sheriff's deputy, an acorn, and some gunfire. That event has been the topic of discussion of a lot of videos. I'll link some of the better breakdowns that I've seen in the description. I'm not really gonna bother doing a breakdown. What I really wanna talk about is the memes that showed up after, and uh, they are savage, and there's a lot of them. But in case you missed it, let me give you like the 120 second rundown of events. Um, on November 12th, 2023, at approximately 9.29 a.m., Deputy Jesse Hernandez and Sergeant Beth Shots Roberts fired. both discharged their weapons on duty. They had previously responded to calls for service involving a disturbance to the peace and another regarding a suspected auto theft. As part of the investigation into those calls, one Mr. Marquise Jackson was placed into handcuffs, patted down, and placed in the back of Deputy Jesse Hernandez's patrol vehicle. What happens next is what I think you've probably already seen. That video has been widely discussed. Like I said, I'll put a ton of links, including the actual IA um, investigation report of that event. So if you want the full breakdown, there's like 44 pages, it's worth reading. But uh, here's the thing, guys, an acorn struck the roof of Deputy Hernandez's vehicle as he was walking alongside it. He mistook the sound of that acorn for a gunshot, reacted in my opinion quite erratically to include several exclamations of shots fired and then becoming unintelligible as he was screaming things. He did a few hondo rolls, and then he emptied his duty weapon into the back of his vehicle. And during this time, the sergeant on scene who was talking with one of the victims of the previously discussed crime also went out and shot several times at the vehicle. But here's my thoughts, and just my thoughts in general. One, Deputy Hernandez might have had some sort of psych issue. That's my general assumption. Um, he was a recent hire. He was hired in 2022. He was not a longtime veteran of the police force or the sheriff's office. He was a military veteran and supposedly a combat veteran. So in theory, this is a guy who's actually heard and been around gunfire, in theory. Um, two tours in Afghanistan is, in my mind, probably enough to at least acclimatize you to such. I suspect maybe some undiagnosed PTSD that is pure supposition on my part. Two, his duty weapon was a SIG P320 and it, that gun ran as designed. In other words, when he pulled the trigger, it went bang. When he didn't pull the trigger, it didn't go bang. He emptied all 17 rounds into the back of his vehicle and every single one of those seemed to work. So good job, SIG. You know, I've been really hard on SIG P320s in the past. Hey, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let them claim that victory while they've got it. Um, in another venue, I saw that because there was an optic on Deputy Hernandez's pistol, the person on the internet said, well, that tells me right there that optics on pistols are trash. They don't do anything because the suspect was completely unharmed by the gunfire. Therefore, dots don't work. I have my own thoughts on that, but we'll, we'll leave it at that. Um, if you read the report, you see that the internal investigation found Deputy Hernandez's actions to be objectively unreasonable which I would 100% agree with. Now, I'm just some dude on the internet, right? I'm not a you know, lawyer. Uh, I'm not uh, your use of force instructor or anything like that. So if you wanna do some research on objective reasonableness, that standard, um, and any of the things pertaining to this case, I think two court cases that are really, really directly applicable are Graham versus Connor and Terry v. Ohio, both of which directly played into the events that you saw in that video. Um, the investigation found Sergeant Beth Roberts' actions to be objectively reasonable based on what she saw and knew at the time. Uh, my only real issue with that is that she said she never actually saw the suspect, so she was shooting at something she couldn't see. And there's a fourth rule about know your target. I, I, I don't like that, but like I said, some dude on the internet, if you disagree, man, hit me in the comments or if you agree, whatever. Now, the suspect miraculously completely unharmed. If I were him, I'd be thinking about a lawyer a settlement and maybe a reduction or a dismissal of any charges that were brought as a result of the investigation leading up to the events that we're talking about. Call JG Wentworth, 877 Cash Not gonna do a crazy breakdown. What I am gonna do is talk about the memes. Now, all of these memes I found, probably 90% of them were posted by cops. Cops are savages, so I'm not making fun of cops. I'm making fun with cops. And here's the first one. 
And I love, I love, love, love all of the, so anyways, I started blasting memes. Every time I see those, it gives me a chuckle. This is kind of a combination of memes, which I love. There's a, a meta-ness that is emerging in memes, and I'm a huge fan of that. Next, all you Gadsden fans gotta love this one, right? It's a, uh, uh, yet again, like I said, it's a bunch of things all combined together. And who doesn't love the Gadsden flag? Come on, guys. It's a classic, and I love what it represents. Now, talk about meta. Woo, and it's probably never too soon. Guys, if you know, you know. We'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. Um, this one, I didn't love as much. You got to love the teacup grip, though. I know that not every cop is a superstar pro shooter. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Taylor Swift recently in the news, so let's just put it all together, and uh, we, we end up with a Taylor Swift, Acorn, and Police meme. I, I love it. I love it. Now, for all of you competitive shooters out there, IDPA, Ipsic, the like, you got to have something that comes of this. Uh, I know if you ever saw the movie Collateral, that was the fodder for many a shooting stage at various competitions, both local and state. Why not the acorn drill, right? Why not the acorn drill? Well, some of you guys are worried about assault weapons, but really, I think the real problem, the real issue, the thing that we're most worried about is the assault acorns. Can't have those on, on our streets, those weapons of war. Did I mention I love the, so anyways, I started blasting memes. I just love them. I can't get enough of them. If you have any more, guys, send them to me. I, I Seriously, I will just continue to laugh. I'm uh, really basically a 12-year-old trapped in a 50-something-year-old's body. So I love those memes. Everybody loves the Second Amendment, right? Everybody loves the Second Amendment. Shall not be infringed. I mean, those are the words. What, you know, how do you interpret it except for that? Angry Birds. So passe, how about angry nuts? I love the whole PTSD theme that we already talked about. So this one's pretty awesome too. It's just uh, all sorts of stuff all together. We already talked about this, but I gotta talk about it again. We do not need those weapons of war on our streets. It's hard being a cop these days. Seriously, everybody's out to get you, even the trees. Saw a friend of mine posted this one, and he's like, hey, I'm not bashing law enforcement. Uh, I'm not bashing law enforcement either. Who doesn't love the Terminator memes? If you've ever seen this show, it just all goes together. So uh, what are you gonna do? I, I think they probably should do a special on this, but hopefully with not real guns. <sighs> Poor squirrels these days. Poor squirrels. I don't even know what this is about, but I had to include it anyway because, eh, why not? And seriously, I wasn't kidding. When I said a surplus of memes, I might have put like half the memes that I've seen in this video. There are way more. All right, it's been a minute, 2016. I mean, before there was St. Floyd, there was a whole nother set of issues. Law enforcement, actually, I'm sorry, it was 2014. Man, how time flies. Man, I'm feeling old, feeling old. And look, I know most of you kids are probably way too young to remember Dirty Harry Callahan, but you wanna talk about classics. Before there was Die Hard or Lethal Weapon, there was Dirty Harry. And so we got to throw a little throwback classic action in there. Besides, who doesn't love Clint Eastwood? Mm, come on, guys. You got to love Clint. Did I mention that I love these memes? Did I mention that? Oh, man, I love these memes. Well, you've got to like the sort of news article slant to the meme. I think you've got to love that. Plus, that guy looks super panicked. That was an excellent freaking meme. And who doesn't love sweating guy? Who doesn't love sweating guy? Hey, where prohibited, you should definitely not carry them. I want you to stay out of trouble, guys. 
This one, an all-around good generic one. I like it. And this one, this has got to be my top. I'm going to end this here. Uh, one of my all-time favorite meme templates. And this is a pretty freaking awesome one. So, guys, I'm going to end this. I'm going to stop with the meme, stop with the making fun. Uh, as I understand it, Deputy Hernandez resigned, which I think was probably an intelligent move and a reasonable move given all the events that transpired. I am very sorry for him. I hope that he finds peace. He probably won't find it through my video, but uh, it's probably better that he's working in some other capacity and not carrying a gun for realsies. Ladies, gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time and attention. I hope this was fun. It's a little bit of a departure from my usual. Um, my usual stuff is obviously gear reviews, guns, knives, things like that. If those are your jam, then you probably want to consider subscribing to my channel because that's my usual. And uh, I appreciate your time. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like. Heck, if you hated this video and watched it all the way to the end, I still appreciate you because your time is valuable. I will end this here. Ladies, gentlemen, thank you so much. Take care. Stay safe. I'll talk to you soon. Get him, Jay.